How will nature be doing in 2031, 2041, 2051, if we just keep doing things the way we've been doing them? Poor soil conditions, deforestation, natural disasters, climate change, global pandemics. These are the issues at the heart of sustainable development. Erosion, extreme droughts, rising sea levels, collapsing fisheries, species extinction. These are the possible consequences of unsustainability. As the challenges of environmental degradation become increasingly pressing, moving to a more sustainable society is a necessity. Helping the world make this transition is a complex effort requiring big transformation. Sustainability no longer simply references biological systems. It's a balancing act between people and planet. It's to take care of our planet so that our planet can continue to take care of us. It's how we define it for ourselves and put that definition into practice. It's so easy to be impressed by a striking sunrise or a mountaintop panorama. But do you remember to be grateful for the seemingly common resources in life? The fruits and vegetables that are cultivated and harvested months before their arrival at the local grocery store. The water from rain or rivers that's purified and travels many kilometers before it gushes from our home faucets. Think about the wonder of these simple conveniences. Maybe we wouldn't be so quick to waste them. Our thoughtfulness is where we are put to the test. It's important to recognize our power as a community. Parents, children, consumers, business owners, governments, and to make choices that reflect a sustainably conscious life. We can do the basic things we're doing today, but we're going to need to do them a little differently and adapt to technologies that already exist. Technology is not the ultimate solution, but it's a tool that can be used to effectively create communication, more collaboration, clearer sets of information, all to address the larger issues of sustainability and community. Balance between ecology and economy.